So do you think this one kilogram silver bar from the Germania Mint looks great? Well, stick around to see how I got burned buying my first one kilo bar. If you're new to the channel, we like to stack silver and stack like buttons. So go ahead and stack that like button and let's get started. So like many of you out there, I've been stacking silver for a while, but I'm still kind of a beginner to the large bar game. So I decided I was gonna step up my game a little bit and go into the kilogram format and ordered my one kilo silver bar, my very first one. And I thought that I found a good price listed on Monument Metals, but it was a pre-order. So for those of you unfamiliar, you can go ahead and lock in a purchase with a pre-order on one of these online dealers, but it won't actually be sent to you until they receive the package themselves. I thought that I was locking in a good price, but of course, by the time I got this silver bar in my hands, the thing was selling for about $70 cheaper on the exact same site. Really kicking myself for that one. All right, let's see how it looks. Get rid of the invoice first, of course. And, ooh, look at this box. Have to admire the packaging here. I could tell right from the beginning that this thing was super heavy. Those of you who uh, can remember your first time handling silver, it's pretty remarkable how dense the metal is and how strong and robust it feels in your hand. So my first instinct looking at this box was beautiful design. Essentially everything that comes out of the Germania Mint seems to be really well thought out uh, in terms of packaging and honestly just the, the coinage itself. This has that cast bar look, the poured silver look. I really like that more than the machined bars. And I'll have to share with you some of my cast bars in the future, specifically some angle hearts. And now for the real deal review, let's go ahead and bust this one kilo silver bar out of the box. Perfect flush fit into the package. Now you'll see here I thought, oh, it might be necessary to throw on some gloves. Little did I know that this thing came wrapped in plastic and it actually still is wrapped in plastic to this day. Although I think I'm gonna have to take it out because there's just nothing like holding real silver in your hands. But this, of course, was the first bar that I got in the one kilogram format, and we're gonna go ahead and bust it out here. This bar, even with the plastic on it, is pretty dang shiny. And you can see that it's also very reflective and just so heavy. I really wish I would have just unsheathed this beautiful bar from the plastic coat. I gotta say, I just think that this bar looks really sharp. I love the crest from the Germania Mint. It's simple, understated, but beautiful. And there's just something about that sweet, shiny metal silver, having it in your hand. It's such a great feeling. Check out this hologram on the back. Really amazing work, totally gorgeous, and a good security feature, of course. Nice rounded edges on this poured bar. and a serial number here on the bottom. You can see the shrink wrap plastic here on the outside. I gotta say, it's one thing to look at this bar on a video, it's another thing to hold this bar in your hand. I was super impressed. I honestly thought that it was gonna be larger when I had ordered it, but when it comes to silver, you can fit a lot of weight in a very small package. The Germania Mint is producing these one kilo bars at three nines fine silver. That is 999, 99.9% .9 silver. In general, just a great looking bar, a really good addition to the stack. Of course, I did feel a little bit burned with this purchase, but that was on me. I think I'm just feeling a little hurt that every time I've tried to pre-order something, of course the price drops right afterwards. So uh, just a bit of a f joking friendly recommendation here. If you ever really want the price of silver to go up, almost make a purchase and then don't do it. If you ever really want the price of silver to go down, lock in a purchase price and immediately, in my personal experience, 
the price of silver seems to fall. So we got the double eagle here with the crest and the crown. All kidding aside, at the end of the day, dollar cost averaging is going to be your best bet when it comes to stacking silver. Don't invest everything that you have too early on or all at once. It always makes sense to go slow and steady over time. That's how people end up building wealth in this game. Personally, I'm really hesitant to put my money into a larger format bar, something like a 100 ounce or a 1000 ounce, particularly in this buying environment where premiums are generally so high across the board. Yeah, the premium for physical metal is cheaper in those larger increment bars, but at the same time, you don't have as much of a premium on the buyback when you go to sell it. When it's more of a buyer's market as opposed to a seller's market in the precious metal space, you are really not going to make your money back on large increment bars as it pertains to premiums. More often than not, an LCS will even offer the low spot price on these larger bars because they're harder to sell, they're harder to move, they're less fluid, they're less liquid, I should say. I'm not a big fan of the higher increment forms of silver, but I had to get this kilo bar. It was just so appealing. I just don't think I'm ever gonna go higher than a kilo. This, for reference, this 32 ounce bar, um, with a premium is somewhere in the range of $1,000, let's say $900 to $1,000. So yeah, still maybe only as much as about half an ounce of gold, still potentially more liquid than gold. But this is the type of thing where if you threw it in your pocket, you'd really be feeling it while you're walking around. Here's my hand for reference. Just something to consider when you're trying to buy your silver starter bars your first kilo bars just take that into consideration at the end of the day silver stacking can be a hobby it can be a way of investing it can be a way of building your wealth in an inflation resistant manner and it's really up to you how you want to go about doing that so with that we're going to go ahead and sheath this bar back up in its box and close it for now even the box is shiny unbelievable Anyways, glad to share this experience with you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know about it. Comment down below. Tell me, are you into buying kilo silver bars? Is it too much? Am I being over, overly dramatic? Like, is, is a 100 ounce bar an okay investment? Um, let me know. If you enjoyed the content, hit that like button. We're just getting this channel started and every little bit helps. Be sure to subscribe and maybe even hit those notifications so that you know the next time I post a video. And with that, I'd like to thank you and remind you to stack silver forever. Out.